welcome, welcome, welcome to Ponder This here on a Tuesday. You're here with me. Glad to have you. Let's look at it. For the land which you see, I will give it to you. I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if any man can number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Arise and walk through the land, through its length and through its width. And notice these words. I love these words. For I will give it to you. That's Genesis 15 and 17. I've tagged back up to where I was yesterday. Now notice what I wrote after the scripture. You've got to step your foot on it, but you can't put your foot on it until you lift up your eyes off of where you are and begin to see what it is God is saying. Amen. In other words, God said, lift up your eyes. Look from the north, south, east, and west. Talked about that yesterday. And then he said, hey, hey, take off walking. Walk through the land in the length of it, in the breadth of it. But, but, but notice the words there where he said, arise. In other words, you've got to get up out of that place of defeat. You've got to arise out of the place of self-pity. You've got to rise out of the position of offense or anger or jealousy. And you've got to start stepping into what God has promised is going to be yours. And there would be no problem that you would occasionally remind God of what he's promised. But you will never, ever step into what God has for you until you will arise from that position you're in right now. All right. That position of defeat, that, that uh, position of loss. Arise and then begin to walk. Begin to put your faith in action. Begin to go where God told you to go. Claim what God told you to claim in his word. That's what he said, do. You walk through the length of it and in the breadth of it. But one of, one of my favorite parts of those verses is that not only am I going to be blessed, but my descendants, my sons, we have three, my sons and their families are going to be rewarded because of my obedience. What God has given me, is going to pass on to them. That's something I don't think a lot of Christian parents understand. Is your inheritance from the Lord, what God gives you, will pass on to your children. The lamb, the spiritual lamb, the gifts, the anointings, God wants it to pass on to your descendants. In other words, the goodness of God shall never end with your life. The greatness of God, the faith of God, the belief, the belief in God should never end, all right, with you. It should be passed on to your children. That's why it's important, so important that we live life daily in front of our families according to what the Word of God says. That's why we must live as we should. And that's why we need to say to our children, hey, Live and walk the walk I walk according to the word of God and you will be blessed. All right. We need to grab a hold of that truth. Arise from where you are because where you are is not the end of your story. There is greatness in front of you. There are rewards and inheritances in front of you. Pass that on to your children. Say to your children, don't be satisfied where you are. There's something better. But you've got to get up and go after it. Put forth the energy. Say that to your children. Encourage them to press on. Press. There's pressure. But the reward outweighs the pressure. Ponder on those thoughts, my friend. That's God's word. And God's word is for you. See you tomorrow. Always remember, you are blessed.